Google and Fitbit have been slowly combining their resources since their acquisition in early 2021, but recently there's been some pretty big changes meant to bring the Fitbit brand more in line with the rest of Google services. Over the past few weeks, Fitbit effectively got a rebrand. Google has been making some changes to their online store page that includes more Fitbit accessories, and there's a few new AI-powered features on the horizon that we're going to get into real quick. As usual, if you enjoy all things Google and Android, consider subscribing to the channel as we always try to cover the latest Google news as it happens. So if you want to stay up to date, this is the best place to do so. And trust me, we have much more Google related content on the way. With that said, one of the first major changes to the Fitbit lineup actually happened quietly within the past few days with the Fitbit by Google branding on their website being updated and replaced with a new Google Fitbit logo instead. This Fitbit by Google branding first appeared in August of 2022, right before the launch of the first Pixel Watch. Since then, packaging on Fitbit products, video promotions, and their online website all had the Fitbit by Google branding. Over the past few years, Google's been working hard at integrating the company deeper into their operations and just like they have Google Nest and Google Pixel, they now have Google Fitbit. This follows the reorganization of their hardware division in January that brings all hardware across Pixel, Nest, and Fitbit under one unified leadership. In addition to their official rebrand and reorganization, Google will also be offering Fitbit accessories to their online store, expanding the current offering. For a while now, Google's been selling various Fitbit devices, but moving forward, effective March 11th, they will be offering replacement chargers and a wide variety of first-party Fitbit bands in stainless steel mesh, horween leather, and many more. They will also be extending their offering of third-party accessories as well, like the Wasserstein 3-in-1 charging station and third-party screen protectors. This does leave me wondering if Google will eventually discontinue the Fitbit store to make the entire process an in-house ordeal, but in the meantime, it's just nice they're offering an alternative place to buy the accessories, especially especially because Google One members can take advantage of their 10% off discount, which was not an option on the Fitbit store. Shifting over to features, we did get an update on Fitbit Labs, which was a program first announced during the Pixel Watch 2 launch. For those out of the loop, Fitbit Labs will let premium users test and give feedback on upcoming experimental AI features, similar to what we see with Google Labs. One specific feature in particular is an AI-powered chatbot that will allow users to ask questions about their Fitbit data in a conversational manner like you would with Gemini or ChatGPT. The chatbot will run Gemini, but be fine-tuned to deliver personalized coaching with actionable steps to take based on the data accumulated. Some examples given were asking how many active zone minutes you get and the correlation with how restorative your sleep is, or asking it to analyze variations in your sleep patterns and sleep quality, then get recommendations on how you might change the intensity of your workouts based on those insights. At this time, we don't have an official release date, but we do know it'll be coming later this year for a limited number of Android users enrolled in the Fitbit Labs program. Either way, it sounds like a good move considering Apple is rumored to be focusing on a similar feature and this will definitely continue to keep Google's wearable health offerings more competitive. Another interesting piece of Fitbit news, it appears Fitbit is testing personalized notifications through a program called WalkMate. Hopefully this does actually make its way to Fitbit related products in the future, but for now, it appears the study is geared towards users that are having a hard time getting their steps in. Once enrolled, users will get a new Fitbit notification on a daily basis that will have you reflect ahead of time to plan a walk for your day, and throughout that day, Fitbit will track your steps and active zone minutes in the background so you you can see the impact of your pre-planned walk. As mentioned, this program is geared towards those that don't get a lot of walking time in, which means the only users that can enroll for now are those that are getting less than 8,000 daily steps in. Unfortunately, I don't meet that requirement, so I can't demo the feature for you, but if you did manage to get enrolled, leave a comment and let me know if it helps. Lastly, in our final story, it does appear Health Connect integration is starting to roll out in the Fitbit app. This was originally shown off at Mobile World Congress a few weeks ago and now is starting to actually appear. I did cover it during that time and basically Health Connect is a new Android 14 feature that brings all your data together from various health apps like MyFitnessPal, Whoop, Google Fit, and more. I pretty much only use the Fitbit app to check
check my health stats anyway, so to me, this is a pretty logical choice, and I'm glad to see they're rolling it out so soon to their announcement date. As a whole, those are the most important Fitbit changes that showed up on the 9 to 5 Google Radar in the month of March. For the most part, these are some pretty big changes that signify a deeper connection amongst Google and Fitbit products, and I'm looking forward to see where things can go from here. Either way, let me know what you think of these changes to the Fitbit brand. Is there anything that you're expecting now that the transition seems fully complete? And if so, what are you most excited about? Leave a comment and let us know. But in the meantime, guys, I'm getting out of here. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.